David here with Fig Boot on Pens. When I put together a review, there's a, a good deal of prep work. Uh, the amount of time I actually put into preparing a review is more than the time that it takes to record and edit it and produce it. Uh, and it's the prep that's typically the hardest part of putting a review together. Um, trying to nail down what I'm going to say about a pen or a topic. Um, for me, uh, this part, actually doing the review, uh, is the easiest part, uh, just because you've, I've put in all of that work and research in order to feel comfortable about what words are going to be coming out of my mouth. Well, when I began working on this week's review, I had a pretty good idea of what the end product would look like, but over the course of preparing for this review, what I thought was going to be uh, going that I was going to cover uh, totally changed, uh, and the end result is much different than I had originally envisioned. Uh, a bit of a twofer, so I hope it's entertaining. Today, I'm going to be talking about two versions of kind of the same pen. Um, one that is somewhat vintage and one that is more modern. Uh, and that pens, or the pens, are the Pilot E95S and the Pilot Elite. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over the parts and features of both of these pens, talk about what I care for, what I don't care for, show some measurements, size comparisons, and then provide a writing sample. Uh, and stay tuned because at the end of the review, I'll let you know how you can win one of these pens. Uh, just one of them though. Uh, and I'll give you a hint. It's the less expensive of the two. Uh, while at the DC show this past year, uh, I came across the booth of a gentleman by the name of Robert who goes by the moniker of Spearbop on eBay. Uh, he's been doing business on eBay for over a decade and uh, carries a wide variety of brands and price ranges with quite a lot of vintage pens. Uh, Robert was kind enough to give me this pen to review and give away. Uh, this is the Pilot Elite. Uh, it's a pen that was produced in the late 70s and early 80s, uh, not quite vintage. Uh, now, while the exact age of an item in order for it to be deemed vintage can vary, uh, it's generally understood that vintage is an item that is older than 50 and less than 100 years old. Uh, at that point, you step up into antique, which is generally understood to describe an item older than 100 years old. Uh, now, it was at this point in my research for this review that things took a bit of a turn because what I discovered was that even though this pen is marked as a pilot and branded as a pilot, it is not actually manufactured by the company you and I know as Pilot. Uh, it's manufactured by a company in South Korea who licensed the name for pens produced in South Korea. Uh, the regulation they had at the time was that these pens could not be sold in Japan. So this is not a knockoff. Uh, it's simply an officially licensed product for a different market. Uh, and that's because Pilot produces this pen on their own, which is the E95S. Um, a couple of days ago, I was at a meeting of our local pen club and a friend of there, a friend of mine there by the name of Reed uh, brought this pen just to show folks, uh, which he had just recently purchased. Uh, I let him know that I was doing a review on this pen this week and Reed was uh, kind enough to, to offer this one to me so I can compare the two. Uh, so that was nice of him. So what I'm going to do is go over the parts and features of the E95S, uh, and then I'm going to show what's different between it and the Elite. Uh, the E95S is a unique pocket pen. Uh, the cap is metal, uh, and then the barrel and section are resin. Uh, it has a, a vintage look to the pen, kind of recalling the looks of a classic 1960s fountain pen. Uh, the end of the cap is smooth and only slightly rounded. Uh, there's a gold colored band uh, and then there's a clip which is functional and uh, not too tight. The cap angles up and at the end we have a band that is printed or plated uh, rather than inlaid. On one side there's a cursive letter E and on the other side it says Pilot Japan. Uh, there's a small step down to the short barrel which angles down slightly to a flat end. The cap pulls off. Now, this is actually an interesting capping mechanism. There isn't a snap at all. It's held on by friction. Uh, when you cap the pen, you start feeling the friction about here. Uh, and then there's just kind of a mild resistance all the way, uh, the rest of the way on. Uh, it caps very secure, and I don't have a fear of this falling off, but it's just very interesting. Uh, taking off the cap underneath, you now see that we have this very cool 14 karat gold inlaid nib. 
Uh, you can see that this is an extra fine nib, uh, and then at the bottom of the nib we have 616. That signifies by that's the how what Pilot uses to signify that this nib was manufactured in June of 2016. Uh, I like it when pens have identification features that help you precisely date a pen. I like the looks of this nib. I think it looks rather sharp. Uh, and then here's a look at the plastic feed. The section of the E95S slants up at uh, an even angle uh, and is very long. It's nice that that section doesn't uh, necessarily bind you into a specific grip. You can pretty much hold it anywhere you want on this section. Uh, unposted, the pen is very small, but not impossible to use. It's kind of right on the edge for me, uh, but the cap does post on the back here securely, and it's very long and slender and light, so it doesn't throw off the balance of the pen at all. And now it's basically a full-sized pen. The barrel twists off, and you can see the E95S has a converter, uh, which comes with the pen. Uh, it accepts proprietary pilot cartridges as well. Now, the converter sits rather deep into the barrel, so uh, so deep, in fact, that you can't see the ink level. In order to see your ink level, you need to actually pull out the converter, which is a little bit on the inconvenient side, uh, because pilot converters uh, is, uh, have a very large opening at the end, and so by pulling it out, it just kind of increases the chance of you having a, an ink incident when pulling it out. So that uh, that's not the best design in regard to that aspect of it. The Pilot E95S retails for around $135, which I feel is a fair price for what you receive. You know, would I like it better if it was $99? Sure. But the 135 is an extravagant for a unique pen with a 14 karat gold nib that, as we'll see in the writing sample, performs very well. So, what about this Pilot Elite? How does it differ from the E95S? Um, first of all, the end of the cap is slightly smaller and more rounded. Uh, then the band near the clip is smaller as well. The clips look the same, and the cap uh, is metal like the E95S, but you'll notice a difference on the cap band where the Elite actually says Elite rather than just the E. Uh, and you can see that the band design is slightly different as well. Uh, on the back side of the band, the Elite doesn't say Pilot Japan, uh, and on the barrel of the Elite, you'll notice there is this green sticker. Uh, this is a key giveaway that this is one of the South Korean models. This green sticker with the little bullseye logo next to the nib size, that's what indicates it to be one of the South Korean pens. Uh, on the end of the barrel, the Elite has a hole, while the E95 does not. Uh, the biggest difference between these pens can be seen when you remove the cap. Uh, the Elite has a gold-plated steel nib that is semi-hooded rather than the inlaid nib of the E95S. Um, when you unscrew the barrel of the Elite, you can see it comes with a pilot aerometric converter, uh, but it will also accept proprietary pilot cartridges. Um, overall, the Elite is slightly more narrow than the E95S, uh, so the caps aren't interchangeable or anything like that. Now, the Elite sells for $27. Uh, for a nice little pocket pen that performs rather well, it's not a bad price point. Uh, if you're looking for something smaller than a Pilot Metro, this isn't a bad choice. It's a nice little pocket pen. Is it a spectacular writer? No, but it's decent. Uh, and it lays down a decent line, which is all you could really ask for at this price point. Uh, if you would like to win this Pilot Elite, uh, simply leave a comment here on YouTube. Uh, today is Saturday, March 18th, 2016. Uh, you have until midnight on Tuesday, March 21st to enter. Uh, in regard to a comment topic, uh, how about you just let me know what your favorite pocket pen is or favorite small pen. Topic is not required, just a suggestion. Uh, personally, uh, you know, I'd probably have to go with a, a different Pilot, the, uh, the Stella 90S. That's probably my favorite uh, small pen. Uh, I'd like to, again, thank Spearbot for providing this pen for giveaway. Uh, and then there will be, there'll be a link to his eBay store in the notes below. It's worth checking out. And thanks to Reed for letting me borrow his E95S, only after having it a day or two. So that was nice of him. So now it's time for some measurements, some size comparisons, and then a writing sample. Mm -hmm. 
here we go with some size comparisons for the Pilot E95S uh, as well as the Pilot Elite. And here it is with some other smaller pens. Here it is with a Pilot Prera. Uh, then this is a Caveco Skyline Sport. Uh, and then here it is with a Pilot Stella 90S. Then in regard to some larger pens, here it is with a Nakaya Decapod Twist. Uh, then a recent acquisition, which is the Visconti Davina Desert Springs. Uh, and then finally, something that you might just be seeing next week uh, that is just coming out here soon is the Montegrappa Game of Thrones. And this is the Targaryen or House Targaryen version of the pen. So you'll uh, be seeing more of that coming up soon. So what we have here is the pilot. E95S and this is an extra fine nib and it is 14 karat gold uh, and the ink here is Waterman Black and now we also have the Pilot Elite And this is a fine nib. And the ink I'm using here is Private Reserve. Black Cherry. This is what it looks like. Uh, you know, it's a nice deep red that uh, I like a lot. It looks fairly similar to something like Levenger Pomegranate. Uh, and it's a little bit darker than Orochizuku Yamabudo, but it's kind of in that uh, purplish-reddish family. So here we go with the writing sample, and this is for the uh, Pilot Elite. For a, a fine uh, nib, it writes kind of more on the medium side, especially for a, a Japanese pen. Uh, and then here we go with the extra fine of the uh, the Pilot E90 uh, 95S. I don't know if you could hear that, but this extra fine nib does has uh, have a little bit more tooth to it. Uh, you know, for an extra fine nib, you, you're not going to get tons of line variation out of here. You can get a little bit, um, but there's not going to be that much you push out of here. Uh, the ink flow is going to be a little bit on the light side, but for an extra fine nib, that's what you expect. You know, what are you using this pocket pen for? Usually you're probably using it for notes and things like that, and you might not be using uh, paper that's fountain pen friendly, and so having an extra fine nib uh, works a little bit better on those types of paper, in those types of situations. And in regard to reverse writing, doesn't do the greatest of job there. Let's take a look at the Elite. And in regard to the Elite, um, the ink flow is a little bit greater on here. And uh, again, a little bit more on the, on the uh, line variation with a, just a little bit of pressure. You can get a bit out of here. And even though this is a fine nib, I think the ink flow is a little bit greater and in regard to reverse writing, uh, it's a little toothy, but works just fine. Uh, and then in regard to fast writing on the Elite, it 
it has no problem keeping up. Uh, then finally, let's take a look at the extra fine of the E95S. And this nib doesn't have a, a problem in keeping up at all. So, wanted to thank two folks. One, wanted to thank uh, my friend Reed for letting me borrow this so we can sit here and say thanks, Reed, for the borrow of the, uh, the, the uh, loan of the E95S. Uh, and then also say thanks to Spear Bomb for uh, this Elite that we'll be giving away, that I'll be giving away. So, thank you very much for watching, and we'll talk to you later.